let's talk about quality management principles uh, there are seven principles and quality management system requirements the standard iso 9001 is based on those seven principles what are seven principles it's uh, customer focus leadership engagement of people process approach improvement evidence based decision making and relationship management the first uh, principle of quality management is customer focus let's talk about customer focus who are customers those person or organization who receive product and service from your organization those are customers and prime focus of quality management system is to meet the customer requirement enhance the customer satisfaction for sustained success in the organization the organization should uh, attract and retain the confidence of customers and other interested parties and then there should be interaction and communication with the customer this is done both way from customer to organization and organization to customer the organization need to provide information on product and service to customers and the organization also gain information from customers like their dis dissatisfaction that is complaint positive and negative feedbacks and maybe some queries and other important thing is the organization should understand the present and future needs and expectation of customers what an organization is supposed to do for customer focus we can follow these steps let me explain these steps uh, at first the organization need to know who their customers are recognize your direct and indirect customers understand the customers current and future needs and then ensure there is a effective system to determine the customer requirement in an organization and then link customer requirement to your objectives of the organization and uh, once you link your objective to customer requirement then uh, communicate those customer requirement within the organization to its employees so that they can contribute for the achievement of those objective and customer requirements then it's important to measure and monitor customer satisfaction customer satisfaction data is important if there is deficiency or if the organization wants to enhance the customer satisfaction take some appropriate action in this regard and then also it's important to determine and monitor relevant interested parties needs and expectation those needs and expectation which are affecting customer satisfaction and then manage relationship with customers these steps will enhance customer satisfaction in your organization it will generate revenue and increase market share and it will increase customer value customer base of your organization second quality management principle is leadership leadership establishes unity of purpose and direction and it creates a condition where all people are engaged in achieving the objective of the organization it's about creating a culture of trust and integrity it uh, inspires encourages and recognizes the contribution of people in an organization the top management demonstrate leadership and commitment by establishing vision mission and strategy for the organization and it's the responsibility of top management to communicate the vision mission policy and processes within the organization so that the people will be aware of those vision mission and policies it ensures the quality policy and quality objective of the organization in line with the strategic direction of the company what a strategic direction the vision mission of the organization and then the top management also ensures the quality management processes are integrated and managed within the um, overall business processes of the organization it promotes risk based thinking and process approach in the organization process approach means uh, managing the interrelation and interaction between the processes and in risk based thinking uh, the risk and opportunity associated with the processes as well as 
the context of organization, internal and external issues. And then the leadership provides its people with resources, training, authority to act with accountability in the organization. And with good leadership, the organization will be benefited. Like uh, there will be increased effectiveness and efficiency in meeting organizational objectives. There will be better coordination among the processes of the organization. Uh, there will be improved communication between levels and functions of the organization. And uh, there will be enhanced capability of organization and its people to deliver uh, the desired result in the organization.